Hey, I'm Twyla. And I'm Natalie. And you're listening to Twyla and Natalie. Where we chat with you about the joys and the pitfalls of being a grown woman. But we're doing a little mini show today where we're going to talk about topics. We're going to do a few of these where we chat about things that the listeners bring up or things that we want to tackle. We feel strongly about, like we do today. We feel strongly. This is like a PSA today. It is. So um, let's start. Let's talk about um, what y'all need to stop posting on social media. Yes. Specifically Facebook. Because it stays around longer, I feel. Snapchat, it can disappear. Twitter, it's all moving so fast. It's really probably all of it. Yeah, <laughs> it's really all of it. I think I have something for everybody. I think I got a little bit of I got a little bit to deal out to everybody today. I feel off the top of my head, the number one thing you need to stop posting on Facebook are pictures of your disgusting injuries. I don't want to see your jammed up, cut up, bloody toe. I'm I'm mad at you. I don't want to see your pus-filled finger. I'm mad at you. What? You didn't do that. I just posted a picture of my broken wrist. Yeah, but Twyla, you can't see it. But you can see like the little catheter thing that was in my shoulder. But it's covered up. I'm talking really gross. Oh. Wait, did you? I got to look that up now. Yeah. You like uh, the picture I posted. Is it you on can your s- page? Yeah, I think so. But I mean, it was the picture well, but, of me with but, like my wrist a, up. Wait, catheter? Yeah, because I can't. shoulder? Does yeah. The catheter, they, isn't that what you pee through? No, they had to like dead in my entire arm i can't do um anesthesia oh okay so they had i don't to, think like, that's called a catheter it is it the, is yeah the little the <laughs> little piece yeah the, the part that goes in oh i thought that was it, always what you used to pee when you had surgery and stuff yeah no it's the that's the like the actual the actual device that goes oh, gotcha, into your system gotcha. and then like the tubing leads out to that yeah so it was it was in my arm it was in my shoulder to go down in my arm and i had to nurses walk everywhere ball. are listening and yelling at our podcast with what it actually don't worry is. the nurses that listen that know my husband will, will tell him and then he'll come home and yell at us it's fine yeah you share so much on your facebook i can't find it i do not it, as long as it wasn't disgusting i'm offended i don't even share that much no on my facebook. you don't now, share anything personal see, this, it's all no, you just, share a lot of posts see, about this, this just turned into a whole life. <laughs> Twyla, you need to stop doing these things on social media. I'm hurt. No, I can't even find the photo. But anyway, <laughs> I'll point find it. being, you find it. Yeah, I'll find it's, it. It's, you know, the the gross. Like, I like you know, you can say, hey, I got stitches or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't like need to see them. And show us your part without the stitches. But don't post the gross, nasty pictures. I might be looking and scrolling my Facebook feed while I'm at lunch. I'm enjoying a sandwich or something. And trying to pass the time because I'm sitting there by myself, maybe on my balcony in the sun, enjoying a nice, you know, soda water. Oh, yeah, that's not that's not too bad. That's because that's not gross. So, yes, Twyla just found the picture. You can. Yeah, it's me with my little thing on my shoulder. That it's in your shoulder and it's all taped up. Yeah. That is tasteful. Yeah. I didn't. Sh- I'm not showing you my tasteful. stitches. I'm not going to show you my Don't wound. break your wrist. Have a bone sticking out. Take a picture of that and put it on Facebook. Is it not OK to put my x-ray up there? No, X-ray I think is even fine because it's it doesn't. It look looks really well. creepy with the pin in it. Oh. With the pins in it. <laughs> I basically have a rod and ten new screws for my pleasure. It's the gross ones, the ones where you look and you go, "Oh my god!" Yeah. Like, oh I no, don't I don't want to see that. I live in a house with a health professional, and at least once a month we get some sort of magazine delivered, and mm-hmm. the front cover of the magazine is some sort of open wound or open surgery going on. Yeah. And I'm just like, "Why do we get this? Why do we get this at the house?" And he's like, "Nobody told you to look at it." I'm like, "It's on the cover." You can't afford this in that box. So I fully understand that. I do. I am not a blood and guts gal. So I understand that. Yeah. I think that's fair. I don't have too many people that do that on my feed. Really? Maybe I mute them when they do it. What would you like to see people stop posting on social media? <sighs> I would like. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> but I would like it if y'all would stop posting like extreme viewpoints and positions that you only posting to try to shame other people to change their behavior. Mm. Like you can have your opinions about things, but when you post things specifically to try to make other people feel bad about their station in life, I, that bothers me. Mm. I'm not like, even as much as I disagree with people, I know I disagree with half the country right now. I get it, but I don't use my platforms to try to shame you into changing your behavior. I use my platforms to try to share with you my perspective or to share with you um, that people can bridge the gap. Yeah, somehow. Yeah. Like, don't and you do, and you you share a lot of things that too are because I watch a lot of the videos and I'll read the articles you share. I'm like, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I didn't even hear that. I didn't even know you could eat that. You yeah, know? I I post a lot of vegan stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I apologize. <laughs> but I mean, like that. But even stuff, even that, like that. Like I'm I am a self professed vegan, and people I think immediately think that means I'm gonna post like 
weird videos of like cows being abused on farms. Yeah. I don't actually do that. I have my own reasons for why I eat the way that I eat. Mm-hmm. You can eat the way that you want to eat, and I'm going to always be respectful of you. I'm not going to like try to browbeat you into changing your position. And yeah. I hate when people use those spaces that are meant for us to connect to each other and to be connected to mm-hmm. one another to try to alienate or ostracize people. I mm-hmm. wish we would stop doing that. It blows my mind that in as much as social media is a platform to put our best foot forward, And to paint a picture of a life that is not perfect, but make it look perfect. You know, I feel that that's kind of in, in you either go down that route, which, or you go to the way of where you're just so nasty, you know, yeah, yeah, where you just hate everything (laughs) all the time. It's like, but I, you know what I think it is though, Twyla, the, the, the plus side to that is these platforms give us an insight into an individual who we might think we know, Mm. (laughs) Because more often than not, they're not on the front end of, I just want you to see how perfect my life is. Unless you're making money on social media, yeah, you know, then yeah. everything looks fabulous. But if you're an everyday person using social media on a personal level, sometimes there's too much leaning towards the negativity and the hate and the ranting. And I'm like, okay, and I can have that. I'm not saying to stop doing it. I wouldn't do it because I think there's enough of that in the world without us adding to it. Yeah. I, I want to add some po- positivity and dilute that, dilute the negativity. What I would like to see people stop posting on social media is the vague booking. <laughs> Don't post major life changing thing happening to me in two days, but please don't ask about it. Like, I'm not even joking. Someone actually posted that. Oh, of course they do. Yeah. And but, then, don't, but don't ask about and it. And then you're just supposed to go under it and be like, prayers for you. Yeah. It's like, what the hell? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Then don't bring it up. Yeah. You don't. Well, they're, they're being super passive aggressive about it. It's like, some, my life is hard. Well, and that, don't falls, ask about that falls under attention horror. Like, you're just trying to get attention. You're not even trying to get legitimate help. You're yeah. not trying yeah. to get legitimate support hey i could use some recommendations for Mm -hmm. you know or um it's so different whereas i look at a post sometimes i'll see these long posts um and i read one the other day and it was so vulnerable it was so it was somebody that i didn't know well but was sharing an experience and her vulnerability in it and what she learned from it and and you know and some might say well gosh that's such a personal thing to share why would you do that it was honest it was mm-hmm. honest and it was raw and it was something that she was having a hard time dealing with and she was working through it and i was like okay like i'm i'm good with that because it's the truth it's the honest truth this is what's happening versus i hate everyone don't ask why yeah exactly <laughs> I, that bug that does bug me um okay so another thing i would like people to stop posting and this happens, I see this a lot on my Instagram. I do see it a lot on my Facebook as well. If you're going to post a video, I'm okay with posting videos. I do it sometimes. Sure. Don't post shaky, like, hand cam videos. Like, don't sh- don't be like, oh, we were at this thing, and you're walking around, and the thing is shaking so hard that I get <laughs> vertigo just looking at it. You know when you're looking at it that it doesn't make any sense. So stand still, you're saying. Well, just don't, like... If you take that video and you look at it later and it just happens like you're walking around the zoo in the dang on camera just shaking, 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 yeah. or you were running while you were doing it or jumping off of something <laughs> while you were doing it. Don't post it. You're saying don't post it. Like yeah. that's that's all great for you. And what right? about live video? Because you know on Facebook now we can do live videos where it's live, so you don't know. Even with like that, you can see it. Yeah, yeah even with that, because we, we can do that live. You can do live on Instagram. You can do live on t- on um, uh, Facebook. You can do live like through Periscope on Twitter. Do yourself a favor. Just stand still. Mm. Okay? I get it. Like, and most places have, like, banned the, the selfie sticks that used to help you hold things steady. Yeah. Um, but just either stand still or don't do it. Now, mind you, my only, the only place I'm going to rescind that is um, um, all of you fine people out there who are taking your cell phones to concerts I can't afford to pay for <laughs> and are periscoping the entire concert. Rock on. You're good. You're good people. You're quality humans. You're saving me hundreds of dollars. Thank you. <laughs> Beyonce's coming up in June. Make sure you got good seats. Mm-hmm. Cause that is where I actually don't have an objection. Even sometimes it's a little shaky. I don't have like, I didn't have $150 to go see pink. 
but a bunch of people went to the pink concert and and had good seats and taped her like floating around the ceiling singing and i yeah. felt like i was there and that was good enough for me that's awesome yeah so i mean like and mind you, i know i'm gonna get like uh, i'm gonna get something from somebody that's like that's terrible because they're ma- they're not making money i know mm-hmm. and eventually she will get my money because i will go see her she's on my bucket list yeah but sometimes i can't afford these concerts and concerts are expensive and if you're when your kid especially when your kids want to go see somebody and it's and there's real money on the table mm. no offense <laughs> I'm not. I'm not paying five hundred dollars for boy bands I don't even like. Mm-mm. No, I will pay a lot for boy bands, but not the ones I don't like. Yeah. Forget it. No, no, you can't. So, so yeah. The other thing, this one, this one is a big one for me too. Mm-hmm. Please do not post on social media dirt and arguments with your ex <gasps> okay not just your ex with well, anybody i have okay i'm, I'm, I'm saying this i'm well, saying with it. with anybody but specifically with your ex and especially if you have children with that person because maybe your kids are three and five now yeah or they whatever don't get it, it now, is. but this is on the internet forever, forever. your in-laws can screen shoot this stuff yeah you know other people can you don't know who's your friend and who's not <sighs> your friend you don't know if anybody really is who they say they are on the internet so don't think it's, well, it's my private personal page. No, no. it is not. No. There's someone on and there. And half the time your p- all your stuff is, is marked public. You just don't know it until you go in there and actually mark it all private. Yeah, so. and, and don't. There's <sighs> no good that can come from it. And that can be so hurtful to someone else. Because you know what? Let's look at it, too. It's like everybody's ex jerk is somebody else's prince or princess. That's true. You know, so it didn't work wait, out for wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. What? No, rescind that. <laughs> well i look at it because like i've this. had because i have some ex jerks and he might be somebody else's prince but i don't care about that wait you have an ex who might be a jerk but he's somebody else's prince yeah but i'm saying though it's just it's your experience with one person does not dictate that person's experience with everyone but it does dictate whether i hate them or not it does but that's your personal bias and your view and it's just, I think it's, it's but taking I don't, it too far but I to don't put it on a public it, platform. But I don't put it on a public platform because I want to preserve their ability to be like seen as something by somebody else. I don't put it on a public platform because I don't want to look like a crazy person. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Just That's check. the thing. It only makes the person posting the negative stuff about somebody, whether it's an ex or about anybody, like you're saying. Yeah. It makes you look like a nut job. Because think about it. When we read that stuff. Yeah. We just go, oh, girl. I don't, I don't What's think, happening? oh, my gosh, what a butthole that you used to be married to. I might think, well, that's not very nice because the first thing that enters into my head when I see anything or even when I'm told things about people like that, first thing in my head is there are two sides to every story because I have raised children. So if you come at me with Shelby hit me, I'm like, why she hit you? And right. turns out right. it's because you just slammed her hand in the door. Yeah, you started it. For your, your yeah. older sister. It's like, okay, now two wrongs don't make a right. Mm-hmm. And not to say there's not situations where it's very one sided or a situation where there's abuse that occurs. Yeah, but But that is still not the platform. Yeah, it it. doesn't help. Like putting stuff out there in those platforms never actually helps. No, what is what is your intention? Your intention is not to make it better. Your intention is to cause drama. Yeah, you're trying to be dramatic. You're trying to publicly shame somebody. Yeah. So how does that make you any better than them? Well, and I love it when you're trying to do it and you're doing it anonymously. So you'd be like, I hate when people do X, Y, and Z. Oh, and like, (laughs) well, first of all, you didn't tell me who people are. Yeah. Two, sometimes you don't even fully explain X, Y, and Z. Yeah. yeah. And then three, you just look like bitter Betty. Like, yeah. don't. Yeah. And then, and then I love it when, like, somebody, like, I, okay, I'm fully calling out people, not in full, but I'm calling people out in my life that will do this mm-hmm. and then wind up getting into, like, a passive aggressive argument with other people connected because <laughs> they're not sure if they're being talked about or not. <laughs> and then you watch the thread be like it'll be like eight posts deep of these two people arguing with each other you know and then you have like one random person that knows everybody will pop in there like hey can we all get along and everybody, <laughs> will, be, everybody else will be like shut up nobody's talking to you <laughs> those those deep down like on the surface they they entertain me for like a minute and then yeah. i think y'all y'all look crazy <laughs> like do we all come on we have common sense this looks crazy stop mm-hmm. doing this yeah or put up a webcam in your living room and get paid for it. You know, start, start a YouTube channel for your dysfunctional, crazy family. If Have them all sign waivers. If you're going to do it, do it right. Go all out. Monet- I mean, it's work, it's work for the Kardashians. Girl, no, <laughs> you ain't never lied. Real housewives. You have never, ever yeah. lied. That is true. So if you're going to be crazy, at least monetize your crazy. Exactly. You know, people criticize them like, oh, and they just put all their family drama out there. Well, they're getting paid. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I mean, if I had if I had less shame, I'd do it too. (laughs) 
<laughs> but I have a little bit too much. Can't do it. Sorry, y'all. Won't be at today. Yeah. Okay. So, um, a- any other any other parting folks that uh, things that people need to stop doing? No, those are those are those are my big ones. Those I thought you were. I was waiting for you to say, "Don't put pictures of your food up there," because I thought you were going to call me out. Oh no, I like that. Okay, I mind. love food porn. Oh okay. my god, never no, mind. I lo- put post food every day, all day. Okay. The Good. only pl- the only way place that you and I differ on that is I want pictures of meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm only I'm only meat. I'm only posting vegetables and tofu. Sorry. Oh my god, <laughs> that, I can't even go to the zoo because I get hungry. Uh, I mean, that's ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> The state fair, the big reason why I don't go ever since that incident in the that the place where they have the baby. Oh, my gosh. And oh I yeah. thought they were cooking the pigs. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're like, and so then my weird. friend got all mortified <laughs> and pissed because she's like, this is the miracle of life exhibit. And those are heating lamps, not an oven. Yeah, and you're like, what's wrong with you? You're like pork chops, right? I'm Two like, o'clock? I'm a meat lover <laughs> and I am particularly fond of pork. The best part is you can just walk right out of the miracle of birth center and like go to lunch. Ten feet away is the pork chops. <laughs> it's like no, right there. Seriously, like I could never have those cute little baby pigs. And I do feel bad because sometimes people post a cute video and like my mouth literally will water. <laughs> you know, even if it's a baby for I just I can't help it. <laughs> I love meat oh with a passion. Gosh. I mean, I don't even hardly eat vegetables oh because gosh. I don't want to fill up. <laughs> I'm not even joking, Twyla. <laughs> I, you know, I just wish I could see your face. You were so, you were like glowing of happiness. Yeah. Like right Sometimes now. I eat chicken and steak. The but other day I had two different types of steak. I had a ribeye and a T-bone. The <laughs> only way this could get happier for her is if we t- start talking about spam. Oh, and then yeah. she'd be just love like, she'd just be like all, <laughs> all, all in. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, in the meantime, you guys, go check out the website. Go to matriarchdm.com. Twyla and Natalie has a page. Mm-hmm. You can listen to previous episodes. You can email our show at hello at matriarchdm.com. And, um, hey, check out the blog, too. There's a blog there now, too. Um, in the meantime, we're going to have some new episodes coming for you very, very soon. We're already working on them. But um, enjoy the break, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks for the support.